What's up guys, Jack here, and this was by far the most fun I've had playing Forza, period. This was a little pop-up race that P1R Turk put on with his league. So we were running the rules setup for the next season. I'm running the KTM GT2. So I'm the only one using this car on the list and we're off with qualifying. So we get three fast laps to set a time and this was the best qualifying run I've I've had in such a long time. I just hit every corner perfectly. I avoided the curbs, which were a little bit sketchy on this car, and I was able to really put the power down. But the reason I really am excited about sharing this race with you guys is it was a amazing battle the entire way through. And it wasn't just the sprint race that we did. The endurance race that followed was just as epic. So this is going to be part one and we're going to have the endurance race coming up sometime later in the week but i'm just going to let you guys enjoy the race and i'll pop in every now and then but i'm going to let you guys just watch it as it happened from my stream's perspective um if you're wondering who i'm talking to i'm in a discord chat unfortunately i do not have the technology to make the discord into the stream yet so hopefully one day we'll get there if you subscribe it'll help so i'll see you guys later in the video sit back enjoy and if you like the race and you want to participate leave a like and join the discord link down below um, so this lap should be what our goal is and then we'll look to push a little bit harder on the next lap So right now we're on the lap that I set the best time on, and this is probably the best qualifying run I have ever had. And I know it's only four corners, but with the four corners, these margins are so small. And the drivers that I'm competing against are no slouches. Farhan is insanely quick. Nexus, just as quick. They're both in the Mercedes AMG which has the same top speed as my car. And man, it was close. And I just managed to put in the best lap I have ever put in. Clean as I could have made it. And I absolutely crushed this final lap. I was in shock when I saw how far I was up on my previous best. So right here, we're gonna cross the line with a one minute point eight. And we're going to take the pole and we're going to start from pole Golly. on the sprint race. So we're going to cut to that and let's go straight from the start. All right. Uh, yes. It's actually straight. It's actually straight. You go down the hill at the end.
reasons I cannot explain, I'm very distracted driving right now. Uh, I know what you're looking for and it's in my pocket. How do you like that arrow wash? Farhead, how that's just rude. No, because of that, you, you have to push me now. I'm content, Nexus. Farhand, you content? KTM's got really good acceleration, but it cannot put the power down as well as the Mercedes. But in the draft, it's fast. So what is happening here is this is a great example of the draft and the arrow wash taking effect at the same time. Right now, none of us can pull away from each other as the arrow wash is constantly going to be slowing down the lead car. The fastest car of the three right now will be Farhan. As you can see my foreshadowing from earlier, that corner and I don't get along. So oh, now no. I'm going to be at the back of the group. So. I'm going to be the no. fastest of the three in this train. So what the arrow wash does is it takes away the grip from the rear end and the closer you get, the more of an effect it has. So when you really tuck up behind someone, the car can really slide out. That's why you see the leader having a little bit wider line. The closer I get to Farhan, the more he's also going to be suffering this. So I'm getting the advantage of being able to draft off of both cars while having full grip of the rear of my car. So that's what's happening here, and that's what allows us to have this really long draft train, which enables us to have this epic battle lap after lap on this really short layout. No, stay there, stay there. No, I don't want to pass you. Okay, we're three wide now. I was trying to bump trap you. <laughs> three wide battle for the lead. See, that's why I wanted, I was trying to help you so far ahead you wouldn't get Catch back up. God, I could just 
just make this KTM good on exit, man, it'd be so fucking amazing. I love those uh, artwork Mercedes. Was that the Nurburgring they ran them? I think they did like a Fallout kind of inspired one. But it raced in the Nurburgring. Oh, I almost lagged out. I lagged out. Nope, still in. I just had the mother of all lag spikes. I just had the mother of all lag spikes right there, but we managed to stay in the lobby after that, but we got to make sure we get our head down. And what I want to talk about is if you guys want to race in leagues like this, I am leaving the link to my discord and P1R Turks discord down below. There are many other options such as Tora or DOR. And I highly recommend that you guys check them out if you're interested in doing online competitive racing the way it's meant to be. Clean racing, competitive racing, far. that's what this is all about. So now I want to talk about the issue with the Forza Aero Wash and its negative effect. So at the start of the race, we had a great battle and it maintained that battle. But the lead car of Nexus was able to get enough of a gap, but now we might have the pace to catch him if we were on our own but we we aren't on our own we're stuck here together we don't really have the speed when we have the air wash slowing the lead car down to catch up to him so even though we can run lap times very very similar we're not going to be able to run those times to catch up so right now our strategy is let's see if we can bump draft back up to him but the problem is i slow far hand down so much in the corners that the time we make up on the straightaway doesn't really matter. <laughs> I think I know your idea. So Farhan and I both had the oh, same idea. The idea was for Farhan to back off out of the 7 10th range and allow me, who qualified on pole, an attempt to drive back up and catch up to the leader, which would therefore let Farhan catch back up anyways. Unfortunately, I just was not able to run the lines that were needed and I just kept losing a little bit of time and Farhan was able to keep catching up in the corners and I kept getting the arrow wash anyway, so it didn't end up working as we had hoped, but it was an amazing strategy idea that may come along in the next race. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to. I'm just going to keep losing it in the arrow wash. He might have just gotten away. So shall we just do this every lap forehand? <laughs> All it takes though is one missed up downshift and Mr. Nexus is right back with us. So, as we're winding down this race and this battle with oh, Farhan, God. we look back at what this car's offers, real strength was for been. me, is it had amazing acceleration and it was pretty good at getting into the corners, but it only had one weakness and it was incredibly difficult to drive on corner exit. As you can see, we've messed up a lot of these corners when we're putting the power down, it grips really well from the apex but once you start straightening the car out it just does it just understeers and then the wheels just spin really hard so you have to be really really cautious with that when driving this car if you want to use this car in the league if you are interested in using this car in the league feel free to send me a message and i will share the tune with you for the ktm that will be used in season two the we are going to be splitting the lobby so they're going to be a a lobby and a b again. lobby the oh, God, lap really times focused. and information for that on depending on which lobby you get put in depends on how fast you are with now a cutoff lap time nine, that's four, actually four, at road america as well so if you do that submit your lap time four, you will be told which lobby you are going to be racing in and then we are going to set it up and hopefully we all have an amazing time with some clean competitive races so i'm gonna let this last lap wind down and then i'm gonna come back for the best clip of the uh, best clip of the week just for you guys As we wind down on the last lap, coming to the finish of the race, we had an amazing battle all the way throughout, and this is going to put us 
starting at the back for the endurance race which has a reverse grid now unfortunately we technically didn't a get a clean lap in the race because my best lap was dirty so it's going to make us start all the way in the back but i'm going to leave you guys with this hercules lw with a clip titled it's longer than it looks i promise and i'll just leave it with that um so please if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed the race and you want to participate, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and drop a comment down below at which car classes you would like to see a combination of in future multi-class races. Thank you.